Hello, what you're about to hear is a short segment that I recorded for one of my favorite podcasts. I was lucky enough to help contribute to its last two episodes, number 121 and 122. This is one of two segments I created for the show. At the time, it was thought that neutrinos might be going faster than the speed of light, which of course everybody seemed to love, but I felt that the news medias didn't describe the experiment properly, and I wanted them to tell how it worked. Thankfully, Elizabeth promised to be back after vacation, and I got the chance to research and produce this short segment for the next to last episode of Short Science. The OPERA experiment, short for Oscillation Project with Emotion Tracking Apparatus itself, was designed to record the direction and changes that the neutrinos underwent as they traveled through the crust of the Earth from CIRON, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva, Switzerland, across 732 kilometers to Grand Sassos, Italy. The neutrinos are created from atoms which are stripped of their energy, so only the protons remain. They are then injected to several machines, including the proton synchrotron. From here it goes to the superproton synchrotron, or SPS, both of which also inject the sum of their particles into the LHC, the Large Hydron Collider. The SPS has a cutoff section, which deflects the resulting protons from its main ring to an experiment called the CERN Neutrinos to Grand Sassos Project, or simply SINGES. This allows the particles to shoot off into a fixed target made of a graphite cylinder. This and a few other technical processes strip the proton of nearly all their energy, except for that which goes into the creation of a muon neutrino. From there they go through a decay tunnel, then through the solid surface of the earth, and finally into the opera experiment, a large collection of lead-lined bricks, which have a thin film between their layers. These detect the particles' angle of travel and their energy in real time. As the neutrinos arrive in Italy, some of them have changed into tau neutrinos in a process called oscillation, which can be detected by their interaction with matter. This ability to interact with matter is believed to be proof that the neutrinos have mass and therefore shouldn't be able to go faster than the speed of light, which is the speed of another particle called a photon in the vacuum of space. Its speed is 299,792,458 meters per second. 